This is James Allaberry. I'm recording this in the middle of a storm, one that came out of nowhere. My plane's instruments are failing. Radio, communications, GPS, all go recruit. But if anyone finds this, I need you to know why I'm here. I'm searching for my uncle, Seamus Allaberry. He was more than just family. He was my hero. He worked as an on-site researcher and archaeologist for Morden Pole Inc., a company with a reputation that's as murky as the waters were flying over. The last time we spoke, he told me he was heading to the site of the legendary Golden Horizon, a place that's shrouded in mystery and danger. I begged him not to go, but he felt he had no choice. My mother is sick, and my father's been gone for years. I think Uncle Seamus took that job because he felt responsible, like he had to take care of us. But now he's been missing for 14 months, and Morgan Pole's giving me the runaround. The police have been no help either, so I've decided to take matters into my own hands. I found a set of coordinates at his home office, clues to where he would be going. My plan was to start in the Caribbean and work my way to the Pacific. But now, I'm not so sure I'll make it. If this is the end for me, please, let it be known that Seamus Allaberry was a good man. He didn't deserve whatever happened. And if I don't make it, someone out there, please, continue the search. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I This game has been on my radar for a while. And I've been wanting to play it, and it actually just came out today. I was actually getting ready to sit down to record something different. And I decided to start this up, because I love survival games. I really do. Find a stone and smash to retrieve stone shards. Okay. I'm just going to take this stuff too here. But yeah, this one, I played the demo a while back. What is this? Security alarm system. Uh, we'll just drop that. Don't need that right now. We will take that, though. I did play the demo, so I know a little bit about the game, but not much. Oh, here's a stone. But there's actually, it looks like there's a story now. Uh, smash. Yeah, stone, let me smash. There we go. Open the journal with B, craft a stone axe, and wield it. There it is, okay. Okay, so let's see. Here's tools. Um, stone axe. There we go. Cool. What was that? What? No, get, 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 get. A hornet? Those were definitely not in the demo. Okay. Chop a palm tree with your crafted axe. Okay. Then you can just chop down, get through all this basic stuff, teaching us how to survive. There we go. Let's drink some liquids. Coconuts are a good source of liquids, but you can also place a sliced coconut shell or a turtle shell on the ground in order to collect the rain. Consume option is available in your backpack. Okay. This tab. Um, eat. There we go. Okay, cool. Find traces of your uncle. Okay. I'm going to just uh, kind of put all this stuff here in case because we're, we're definitely going to need it. I don't want to just leave it in the woods where we can't find it. But we'll leave it there for uh, the future. So find traces. We'll just follow the arrow and see what it says here. Okay. I assume it's going to be up there, up top. This game looks so good though. Look at this. This looks so nice. Uh, I'm going to come through here, though. Hopefully there's nothing in here that's going to kill me. What the heck is that? Graf... Grafasoma? Graf... Grafasoma? What? Bug known by its stench. Is that a stink bug? <coughs> Look at this. This looks so good. Is that a lighthouse over there? Man, this has changed so much. So, I think it's wanting us to go up here. So, I guess we'll go up here. I just kind of want to get all of the introduction stuff out of the way so we can start uh, setting up a base so we can survive. 
There are some, a uh, lot of jitters right now. It's still in early access, so that's that's okay, though. That's okay. Let's go, let's go. Is that it up here? Do we have to climb all the way up there to find traces of them? Password lock, hold. Oh, so we're gonna have to find a passcode for that. Okay. Uh, oh, what's this? Sticky note? Uh, view note and journal. Ah, there we go. That's the journal. So, oh, quest tracker, bottle notes, escape, radio tower, Lieutenant J. Thompson's note, Logan Harper's notes, information, energy, sanity, vitamins and proteins, palm tree. Okay. Treasures, so we can find treasures. Skills. Uh, so you can level up all your skills, okay. Plain blueprints, blueprints. Okay, well, where's the notes at? Oh, you have to click on the radio tower. Okay. All right. That should be a little bit more uh, noticeable. Anyway, the radio tower. I found this note. Hey there, stranger. Welcome to paradise, or as I call it, corporate hellscape. I'm Danny Harper, one of the unlucky souls sent here by Mordenpole Corp to oversee some groundbreaking project. They found some kind of resource here, but they, they're all hush-hush about it. Signed my life away with NDAs, so I don't even know where I am in the in, where in the world I am. Warden Pole are a bunch of corporate assholes. They brought us here under false pretenses and kept us in the dark. Their greed and secrecy have cost lives, and now we're all paying the price. Isolation, paranoia, and a daily struggle to survive is what they've given us. I've tried my best to survive and find a way out, but I'm at the end of my rope. The constant struggle, the secrecy, the isolation, it's all too much. I've scattered notes throughout the island detailing my journey to this point, but I know I have no strength left to actually escape. I question my sanity and even my humanity after all this time. The only way out is fixing the re radio tower, maybe? Problem is the manual got... The manual got something underwater during a crash. Yeah, talk about luck. It's in one of the submarine wrecks near the island, near some debris. Only those who are serious about escaping will bother looking for it. After you find the manual, you'll see what needs to be done to repair the tower. Gather the materials and fix it up. There's a power box on the tower that needs a key to turn it on. I'll most likely have it on me whenever I die, assuming no one else loots it before you. I'll, it'll be on my body. Anyone who wants to do me a small favor, I've scattered around the island the notes from my diary, all of which contain a key. You will have to find all the notes to get the code to open the locked box. Sorry for the inconvenience. I didn't want them to have the prize. Inside is something that will greatly help you in your survival. Okay. Um. All right. So we have to find a bunch of notes <laughs> to open the locked box. And those are scattered all around the island. And also there are submarine wrecks that we're going to have to search apparently. So there's that. Okay. Let's set up here. It still says find traces of your uncle. Am I going the right way? Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's go up here and look. I should probably be checking these platforms too to see if there's anything on them. What's this? No, who knows? Alright. Okay, so we're up at the top now. Nothing up here. Wait, what's this? Is that tape? James, if you're hearing this, things have taken a turn I didn't anticipate. This is your uncle, Seamus. I don't have much time, so I'll keep this brief. I didn't want to drag you or your mother into this mess, but life doesn't always give us a choice. The deaths, they were crushing me. I couldn't bear the thought of leaving that burden on you both, so when Mord and Paul Inc. came knocking with their offer, I took it. I knew it was risky, but I didn't know just how deep the darkness ran, the mission they sent us on. It wasn't just about research. This island, James. It's unlike anything I've ever encountered. The ruins here hold secrets that shouldn't be uncovered. Mordenpole knew that, and they sent us anyway. They sent us to... to awaken something. We were a team when we started. Trained, equipped. But this place, it's not just the elements that are hostile. It's as if the island itself is alive, testing us, preying on our fears, our regrets. One by one, I've watched my team fall. Good people, lost to something I can't even fully understand. I'm alone now, trying to keep the darkness at bay, but it's getting harder. 
Every step I take feels like it's pulling me deeper into the island's grasp. I found things, James. Things that should have stayed buried. I'm not sure what Mordenpole is after anymore, but I know it's nothing good. If you're here, if you followed the breadcrumbs I left, I need you to know something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't stronger, that I couldn't protect the people who depended on me. And I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you and your mother when you needed me the most. I don't know how this will end, but I have to believe there's still hope, that there's still a way to make things right. Just be careful, James. Trust your instincts, and don't let this place take you too. Okay. Can I put that away? Um, can I, can I put that away? Wait, I can't. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so there's something about the island then that we're, hopefully it's not like evil or like cannibals or something. But yeah, look at this. So there's, there's this island there. There's that one there. There's also something out there. I'm not sure what that is. But there's also these three over here. Wait, where did we wreck at? Where was our plane crash? Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. Oh, so I wonder if we were... Wait, should we have gone to that island? I guess it doesn't really matter. There's probably something on both, but... Either way, so what's this? Nothing? Okay. So it looks like the next thing it wants us to do... Ooh, that was awful. It just, like, sucked me onto the ladder. So the next thing it wants us to do is um, build a, a bed. So we're, we're going to do that. We're going to start getting together the basics of survival. Build a little base, maybe. And then we will... Uh, just continue on. So, I'm gonna find a pl place to set up base right now. I'm thinking like a, the beach base. I mean, it makes sense, right? We are kind of, you know, on an island, so maybe somewhere like along this wall there or something. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Hopefully, it's not as bad as like Green Hell as far as the building goes, because poof, that took forever. Hopefully, it's a lot simpler. Because it, it's already giving me Green Hell vibes, like this whole. The backpack, the journal. It's very green hellish. Wait, what is that? Is that uh, escape? Tape recording one. I hope I don't perish on these islands and that nobody has ever, that has, nobody ever has to find this recording. This is James Allivary. I'm recording this in the middle of a storm. Uh, okay, so that's the one that we already did. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's find a spot to build a base. Stupid, get out of here. I hate you. I hate you. You're my least favorite bug in the whole world. And you just have to be in this game. I seriously cannot stand stink bugs. <laughs> Bug repellent. Cloth. Sticks. I'm gonna click all this stuff. I think the metal... Well, I don't know about the metal. But I know, like, the tires... We will need to build rafts. So... You know, we'll keep these signs as well. We'll, uh... I'm just going to start collecting stuff, taking stock of what we've got. What is that out there? Can't really tell. Like a buoy? Maybe a shipwreck, like the mast of a ship? I do not know. I know that in the demo there was, there was one ship out there, but I don't know if they've changed that or not. Okay, so we're just collecting stuff right now that's going to help us. So I think the first thing to do, so what time is it? It's 5.21 a.m. Okay, so we got all day. See, so yeah, like right in here is where I was kind of thinking of building. Like right in this little area. So we're going to have like a little lookout right there and then access to the rest of the island right here. So let's see what we can actually craft. Um, as far as structures go, shelters and beds. Uh, large shelter. Tent. Eh. Can we like custom build something? Log rack. Stone container. Tool rack. Weapons rack. Meat rack. Wine. Wine rack. Interesting. Brewing cup. Collect rainwater, boil liquids, and mix ingredients for infusion. Spice container. Used to store seasonings for food. Leather pouch for carrying liquids. So we're definitely going to need that. We're going to have to get some liquid. Wait, is there something? Wait. So this is medicine. Raft. Okay, so yeah, tire raft base, barrel raft base, okay. More stuff for that. Farming, utility. 
But seriously, can we, can we not, like, uh, like, shelters? I guess we'll do a bed. Just one of these. Or no, we'll just do this for now. Maybe it'll, we'll level up and unlock stuff. Or maybe we have to find, uh, um, blueprints. I don't really know. Mushrooms? Boom. Cool. We did it. Get rid of that there. And then, so we can sleep now. Um, I'd really like to know how to actually build a base. So we, it looks like we did all the basic uh, introduc introductory stuff, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and just bring these logs down that I collected. That way we've got them down here. Hopefully we can actually do something with them. Crap. I'm going to need to build a fire and uh, cook some food because we're getting kind of hungry. Oh, wait, what? Crab arm? Crab body? Nice. I'm going to carry two at a time. Gotcha. Okay, so let's see here. Fire. Offering the ability to cook on the stones. This is the one that I want. So we're going to have to get five small sticks, which we have. But we're also going to need six stones. That's fine. We can find that. We'll just put this next to the, the bed here for now. We'll break it or move it at some point. Okay, so add materials. So we need six stones. Got all these mushrooms. The color tells me it's not edible, but it might be useful for some recipes for the blue ones. So what? let's try one of the white mushrooms. Uh, that's not good. It's food poisoning. Great. Okay, well, you know, you live and you learn. I literally have orange juice. Where the crap did we get orange juice at? The heck is that? Nope. Nope. Yeah. What are you? It's like hissing at me. What the? Oh, it's a spider. Run away. I literally got cold chills. Oh, no. Well, I found one stone. Oh, I don't like spiders. I actually hate them so much. Oh, hey, man. What's up? My health is... You don't say... My health is like going down. Like it's like going down, down in an earlier round. Wait, hold on. Let's save. We save. Uh, save. That's not going to be good because we're going to save and we're going to immediately wake up and die. Oh, no. I did. <laughs> I survived three hours and five minutes. Oh, no. Okay. So since I saved it right there, um, it kept just spawning and dying because I'm an idiot so we had to restart anyway so we have a stone hammer which uh means that we should be able to uh wait how do I equip that um so that's on three okay there we go so now yeah there we go so we got a full crafting menu like this okay cool that is awesome so e and q to to do benches doors stairs walls Okay, cool. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to just start off with like a two wide. Um, oh, we can't put it like right up against that. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's get as close as possible. Oh, Oop. oh that's pretty cool. I'm going to snap it over here. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me just, uh, let's just go ahead and cancel these. Only two for those. Okay. Let's figure this out. Start building. All right. There we go. Yeah, so it snaps on kind of. Okay, so it's a little wonky, but it's probably just right where I'm building. Let's actually just move it to an open spot here. Okay. So we only need eight logs total for this. Okay, I like that. Cool. We'll just start that. We'll go ahead and um, cancel this out. And let's just go ahead and get to uh, chopping down some trees. And hopefully that spider doesn't attack us again. Uh, and then we'll get that set up. We'll get a fire set up. We'll uh, do all the necessary things that we need. Find some stones, all that good stuff. Okay, so I just, I went ahead and moved it a little bit over this way next to this rock. And I decided just for two right now, so we didn't have to spend all day building. Um, so next, we're going to go ahead and just put down our bed for now, just to have that. Let's see, which is the bed? Bed, bed, bed. Simple bed to rest. Yeah, that's all we really need right now is that. And we'll eventually get some walls up and stuff like that. Oh, that looks good. So six of those, and we'll be good to go for that. Still haven't, I haven't seen any stones. There seem to be a lot harder to find than I was anticipating. So so doing all this only took two trees, which is nice. 
It's not very expensive to build stuff, which is way better than like green hell. Okay, so we got a bed. Um, I'd really like a, I'd really like a fire. Is there anything else that we can use as far as a fire that's like cheaper or easier to find? Uh, metal barrel, metal sheet, small sticks. That might actually be better. Um, there's a metal barrel right there. There's metal sheets all around, and I've got sticks. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so we can actually cook on that, too. Cool. We'll put that... I guess, like, right here. Two metal sheets. There's a metal barrel. That's way better than doing trying to find the rocks. It's way better. And we just need small sticks. There's another one here. Like this cloth. What's this? Oh, a surfboard. Yeah, let's, uh, can we, uh. Oh, wait, hold on. Place. Oh, I can't, like, lean it up against it? That's lame. Okay, we'll just, uh. We'll just put it, like, right there. That works. All right, cool. So then you just add sticks to, uh. to the fire couple of those. Keep collecting this cloth. Lemongrass? What is this? New plant forageables. Lemongrass. Uh, a refreshing scent. Okay. Well, appreciate it. Uh, let's find some more sticks so we can get this fire going. Cook this crab that we've got. Okay, so can't add any more sticks and start the fire. Tap F quickly to start the fire. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, cool. So I, I assume it's just like uh, green hell, so we would just... Um, so we'll take like the... What's this? Crab body? Place it on there? Yep. Just like green hell. Okay, cool. Crab legs. Sweet. Go ahead and eat one of those, because that helps with our hydration. Take those. Make sure we don't burn all this. And then put these on here. Cool. So we'll go ahead and eat one of these, see how well it does for us. Not terrible. Not the best. Oh, there's even more. I'm just going to go ahead and eat all of this just to get us topped up. Okay, so that goes for 13 hours and 51 minutes right now. But there's no way to, like, put it out, turn it off, which is fine. Okay. Uh, I want to do one more thing real quick just before we start heading off. I'm going to go back up and get all that stuff as well, because I had to restart. I'm going to put stairs. Put stairs on this beast. So we can actually, you know, get up and down without having to jump. There we go. Actually, you know what? No, I want them over here. Um. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Do we have two right arms? Wow. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's cancel this one. Uh, oh, it cancels... It cancels everything. Okay, that's... strange. It's also kind of weird getting them to attach. But that's okay. Four of six. Oh, so it adds the... Okay, so it's going to tell us exactly how much we have total uh, in the build. That's fine. So we just need two more logs. I'm going to go grab those and get that on there, and then we'll go up and I'm going to collect all the rest of that stuff, like I said. Hello, friend. You are mine. Give me your meat. Give me your goodies. Eh. 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 What did it say to me? No good. I don't like that. Come here. Dude, every time it hisses, I get cold chills. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Just die. Just die. Bro. Come on. Come on. 
Thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So we got the turtle shell. We got all this meat. We gotta go cook this meat. Okay. Okay, so we got the turtle shell, so we can start collecting water. Let's take bug. There's snail. We'll get this back to the base, and we'll come and get our logs that we just chopped down. I just thought, like, I might as well just go ahead and start cooking some meat while we're, uh, while we're doing stuff. We'll just, uh, put that there for now. So we can use that just to collect water, but there is a water collector, right? Um, where are they at? Utilities? Wait, utilities. Water collector. Six banana leaf, eight large sticks, turtle shell rope. So it's probably going to get us a lot more water, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, let's go get our logs. This guy's gonna attack us at some point, I just know it. Okay, cool. So now we got a way up in. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this meat up real quick, and then we'll go up and get the things that we, uh, that we need up top of the radio tower. Oh, gosh! He's chasing me! Drop it! Get your ticket! Stab it! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, I knew it was gonna happen. Oh gosh! Don't bite me! Don't bite me! Ow! I will murder you, you friggin' demon! Yeah, run away! Get out of here! Gosh! Just about chopping down trees! Komodo skin, two pieces of, three pieces of meat. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, throw these on there. Cooked meat. We should probably, I assume that we can just drop stuff on the ground and it'll stay. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I've got a bunch of stuff. So, well, so we got food. Burnt meat that was so much of the corner. Great. Killed that guy and I got friggin' burnt meat. Get rid of that. I don't need it. That sucks. No oh well. I was gonna put up a couple walls, but then this guy just decided to attack me. But it looks like we're should be safe for now. Just a few turtles here. Of course, I chopped down a giant friggin' tree and it gave me one log, which is really kind of irritating. Okay, so it's telling us that we're very tired and need to sleep. I guess it's sanity down there at the bottom, the brain. So we'll probably need to sleep a good bit to keep that up as well as, you know, obviously our energy. So, all right, add material. Okay, so we got one wall. Uh, let's just go ahead and drop this. We'll sleep for a bit. Is there a sign around here? Yeah, right there. Can I put this up? So place. Uh, rotate. Let's say. Caution chemical store. Okay. Neat. All right. So first off, we need to save it because I haven't saved this, this one yet. Um, because the last save was whenever we died earlier. Um, then we'll sleep. For, let's do five hours, because right now it's only 5.27 a.m. We sleep for five hours. It's We still got plenty of daylight. Actually, you know what? Let's sleep for six hours then. Okay. Energy's good. Ooh. So much brighter now. Uh, we do... Uh, we are kind of hungry. Found some bananas as well, so that's good. I wonder if that helps with our thirst. Does not. Okay. Hasn't rained yet, so... Nothing in there. I did find some banana leaves though, so let's see what did, what did we need to get um where was it? It was utilities right here. Water collector, banana leaves. So we need rope. I don't have rope yet either. Um uh, spinning wheel used to craft yucca leaves into rope. Well, we can make that as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, place this down. We'll just put you like right there. But I'm not going to put that in there until I get the rest of the stuff, so... Also... We're going to need rope, so let's do this. Um, 
Put you like right there for now. Um, wait, this needs large sticks or small sticks? Large sticks, okay. This needs small sticks, so let's go ahead and just add that. And then metal sheet, I did collect some. Yep, right there. Cool, so then we just need yucca leaves, which we'll need to find. Okay, so just banana leaves, rope, large sticks, okay. I wonder, can, if we, like, break these down, can we get large sticks? Just curious. Ha, ah, one, two, get four of them, nice. Yucca tree, oh, okay, cool, so there's the yucca that we can get to make the rope, cool. So, I mean, crap, we've got everything we need right here. That's good, that's good. So we will put those in there. So we see one more banana tree. We got the turtle shell, and then we can get the yucca up here for the rope. So let's get these. Seagull. Okay, so a bunch of yucca leaves. Let's get a couple of them just to have it. Okay, let's see if we can find another banana tree. Wait, what are these? Potato plant. Oh, so we can do a shovel? Get potato plants? Get potatoes? That'll be nice. Also, there's like hornets and stuff, so if I... Can I use like the bug spray? Apply. Bug repellent. So, does that show up in our journal? Bug repellent. Spraying yourself with bug repellent can protect you from some aggressive insects for a while. Okay. Cool. Oh, here's another yucca tree. There we go. Banana. Boink. 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 Also get some tasty treats out of it, too. Okay. Let's go back. Let's get this water collector. Not like it really matters, because it's... Doesn't look like it's going to rain. Like, ever. I'm sure it will, but not anytime soon anyway. Okay, so add, add, add. Don't need this one. We'll put you over here. Um, add yucca leaf. Hold to spin. Pick up rope. That's super simple. Wow, okay. And boom. There we go. Okay. Cool. I want to get some more walls up on this, but I don't really want to settle for just a tiny base right now. I guess we can always just expand in the future, move stuff around and, and things. So let's just go ahead and um, uh, put that there, there, there. Okay, this is kind of what I'm thinking right here. Um, we need uh, 40 logs to finish this. Um, so we're going to get started on that. Um, and uh, yeah. I'll probably have to just clear this entire island of trees, but that's okay. It's not too small. It's not too big. It's just right for what we need. So let's go ahead and just get started. Okay, so I spent the entire night, well, I slept a little bit, but then spent the rest of the night building, and I changed things up a little bit. Not the shape, but more like what I made the whole cabin out of, and this is what I came up with. So it was just a little bit, I mean, I, I don't really know if it was cheaper to do it like this, but it was definitely more fun. Uh, to build it like this instead of having like a log cabin this looks more beach like and I figured out that I can actually place this up there Which is actually kind of cool. <laughs> so um, So yeah, nothing really much has changed in here We still got our bed here the furnace here and then our spinning wheel there. We'll add more later But I also added you know a door back here um, Yeah, it's not much, but it's a start. So I think that's where we're gonna call this episode, but um 
if you guys want to see more let me know in the comments down below i'm really excited for this series we'll jump into more of the story and visit some islands next week maybe next episode we'll build a raft and maybe travel to one of the islands just to see what it's got um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.